Hey guys, it's Heather from Cal of a Plan, and today I'm planning in my mini happy planner for the week of July 2nd through the 8th. And I'm really excited about this spread because this is the one spread, or one of the spreads, that I'm actually doing a 4th of July theme. So in my regular planner this week, I did a birthday. It wasn't really a birthday spread, it was more of a floral spread with birthday accents because my birthday's Sunday. So I didn't really want to do a red, white, and blue theme there. And then I also wanted to do kind of a birthday theme. This is my other mini happy planner. And I kind of did a mini spread here for my birthday too. This is was actually the one of the projects I turned in for the happy planner squad this month. And so I really think that turned out cute. But um, that's in a mini that I don't really use. So it's almost kind of like a fake spread. This is the mini that I actually use. And so I really wanted to do, um, sorry, I had an alarm go off. I really wanted to do, um, the mini spread here and I really want it to be seasonal with fireworks and red white and blue and just super cute and summery and 4th of July -y. so I'm super super excited to do that so sorry I'm looking at a sticker book and I don't need to do that I need to put that over here Okay, so I'm going to need my X-Acto knife. I already know that. And I'm going to start, this is the classic seasonal sticker book. I have this sticker book for the mini, but I've already used a bunch of these stickers in my monthly spread. So here you could see that I have kind of the same stickers, but on my monthly in my mini. But I want them here as well. So... I'm going to take this one that says watch 4th of July fireworks and I'm going to lay it here on the 4th and it's going to overlap onto the 3rd which is actually okay with me because I'm not sure yet if we're going to go watch fireworks on the 3rd or the 4th or maybe both because one thing about living in Dallas is you can go watch fireworks like pretty much anytime you want to. It's crazy. There's so many different fireworks shows. Okay. Next, I'm going to put this Sweet Land of Liberty sticker, but I'm also going to grab, this is the Student Icon sticker book, and I'm going to grab the blue bathing suit sticker, and I'm going to kind of layer it. I think like underneath this Sweet Land of Liberty sticker. Now the reason that I kind of moved it up and didn't put it center in that box is because I was trying to cover up where it said thankful for. And then I'll put something probably down here to kind of cover that part up too. Okay. I really like this blue note sticker. It brings in some blue. So I'm going to go ahead and lay this on Saturday. And then this red one that also says note. I'm going to lay that on Thursday. This says... So I'm going to put this here because I think that Holly and her husband are going to come over on the 4th and we're going to grill out. So I'm going to then use my X-Acto knife to cut off the bottom. Okay. Now I'm going to take this blue star from the seasonal sticker book and I'm going to put it like that so that I can write there. Okay, 
Then I'm going to take this other blue swimsuit sticker. And where are my scissors? I'm going to cut it. stick out kind of like that okay now I really like this sticker here because it's got red stripes so I'm gonna lay this here on Friday and this is size to fit a classic planner but I'm gonna lay it down like so. Then I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and I'm just gonna cut, I'm gonna line it up, pull it across. And then pull it up. And then now it's sized to fit perfectly right there. Then I'm gonna turn it. So I cut it here, but then if you turn it this way, it will fit going that way in that box. So now I'm gonna grab the Colorful Boxes sticker book, and I'm gonna grab these blue ones. Now these aren't exactly navy blue, but they're still blue, and I'm gonna use these so that I'm not losing that whole spot. They're still functional spaces. Okay, now if I go back to the student icon book, I love this sticker book. This has been one of my favorite sticker books lately. It had some popsicles that I think were red, white, and blue. Yeah, you see those red, white, and blue popsicles? So, I'm thinking it could be fun to put these popsicles in a few different places. Now, I really feel like I need a red box up here to, because right now I have all of these stickers here and it's almost getting a little lopsided. So I'm gonna grab this red box and I'm gonna flip it upside down because you can see it says today, but I'm gonna flip it upside down and I'm gonna place it here. Then I'm gonna use, let me put this sticker over here, my X-Acto knife to cut this end off. Just like that and I'm gonna place a popsicle sticker like that that kind of at least kind of pulls away from how this all is right here it's honestly not my favorite to see all of this it's kind of bothering me but it is what it is okay So here I'm going to put a little red star for Sunday. I'm going to put this little arrow here. I'm 
Now, I would really love like navy, more navy stickers. There's really a lot of those. There's one that says to do. I'm actually gonna put this here. wonder put this little love this sticker right here and I can make some kind of note maybe about how Matthew's off some of these days done with the seasonal book. I'm going to put it away. I think that I'm pretty much done. I think I'm going to call this done. So that I just don't go. Maybe put one more. One more popsicle sticker. And then maybe like a checklist, a red checklist sticker right there. Um, I bet there's one in the mini seasonal book. It's kind of a darker red. Here we go. cute. I really like that. All right. So that is going to be my mini spread for the week. I hope everyone has a happy and safe 4th of July. If you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit the subscribe button and happy planning.